<laughs> First up, we've got Step Brothers, starring Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. It's two immature 40-year-olds still living at home. And that's probably who's going to be watching the movie. <laughs> oh, zing! zing. <laughs> have one month to find jobs or you're out in your asses. What? Currently this movie's rated at fresh. It's probably going to stay that way. A lot of the critics are saying that although the movie's pretty juvenile, the humor's pretty silly, pretty stupid, it works. These two guys have done this before. We saw them together in Talladega Nights. Looks like they've got another uh, winner on their hands. So maybe you don't go down that way anymore. That's what we talked about. We're going to take the long way home. Yeah, Talladega Nights was the last time that we saw Will Ferrell and John C. Riley together. And that was directed by Adam McKay, who also directed Step Brothers. What are you doing? I'm burying you. I'm alive, man. I'm alive. You're waking the neighbors. Shut up. A lot of the critics have been saying that the movie may not be the most brilliant movie of all time, but it is super quotable. I'll Name your favorite dinosaur. Velociraptor. All right. If you were a chick, who's the one guy you would sleep with? John, John Samos. Samos. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. Aren't you sick of Will Ferrell yet? I feel like it's sort of Jim Carrey all over again. It's gone through this phase where it's just Will Ferrell after Will Ferrell after Will Ferrell. And he just sort of seems the same to me in all his movies. Yeah, but he's funny. I guess if you're a straight white guy. <laughs> Who are you calling white? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Will Ferrell's been doing the same kind of role over and over, over and over and again. Over. The emotionally handicapped, um, uh, arrested development man-child. He's really good at it. He's, He's great very at it. good at it. Can we turn our beds into bunk beds? He'll give us so much extra space in our room to do activities. You're adults, you can do what you want. This is the funnest <laughs> night ever! <laughs> Judd Apatow has done a bunch of movies this year, some of which he's written, some of which he's directed, some of which he's produced. Mm -hmm. Looks like this is gonna be another one that he's produced that's gonna do really well. Just with like uh, a lot of other Judd Apatow movies that we've seen so far, um, which are sweet and vulgar at the same time, um, it seems that Step Brothers has that Judd Apatow touch, which now I am beginning to think equals male genitalia front and center. We saw it in Walk Hard, we saw it in Forgetting Sarah Marshall, and we see it again here in Step Brothers. Spoiler. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Sorry. Spoiler alert. alert. Spoiler alert. You see balls. <laughs> hey, I never asked you. Yeah. You like guacamole?